everyone. So I recently traveled and it's my first time to use my BPI Visa Signature Card to purchase airline tickets. So I did some detailed research about their travel insurance and what it actually covers. I'll be talking about it on this video, so stay tuned. First things first, what is the BPI credit card travel insurance? Free travel insurance siya for qualified BPI credit card owners. As long as you use your credit card to purchase your travel fare, maa-avail nyo ito. This applies to any air, water, or land conveyance. Take note that there are some minimum requirements. Like for example, mag-travel kayo from Baguio to Manila, via a bus or rent a car service you are still qualified provided that at least 60 kilometers yung distance from the point of origin it excludes or hindi kasama ang grab or any similar service provider ano nga ba ang travel insurance provider ng bpi credit card ito yung bpi ms insurance corporation and the travel insurance is applicable for both domestic and international travel ngayon who are entitled to avail of the bpi credit card travel insurance mga principal and supplementary cardholders are entitled of the travel insurance package as long as aged 69 years and under at the time of travel and the travel fare is charged using any of the supplementary or primary BPI credit cards. Ito yung mga yun. BPI Rewards Card, BPI Gold Rewards Card, BPI Platinum Rewards Card, BPI Signature Card, and BPI Corporate Card. Covered then ang isang minor dependent of the supplementary or primary cardholder, traveling with either or both cardholders. Basta yung fare is also charged on the same card on a per-trip basis. Meaning ng minor dependent is child ng cardholder aged 1 to 21 years old and hindi dapat employed. So for example, nagbook ka ng ticket using your credit card from the Philippines to Singapore and that same credit card ginamit mo din to book the flight of your child na kunyari 17 years old, pasok din siya sa travel insurance coverage. Meron bang additional charge on your airfare if you will book to avail yung travel insurance. No, wala. Kung ano man yung fare na binayaran nyo from the airline, yun na yun. Totally free yung travel insurance. Again, as long as you use your qualified BPI credit card to pay for the fare. Ano nga ba ang insurance coverage? To know more about yung specific insurance coverage mo, pwede kayong mag-email sa BPI support or call their customer service. On my case, nag-email ako sa kanila. All you have to do is to send them your BPI credit card type. So for example, si BPI Visa Signature, BPI Rewards Card. Number two is your credit card number. Number three is the transaction date kung kailan nyo pinurchase yung fare and the amount. So I emailed them and sinend din nila through email yung coverage ng insurance ko. So dito mahikita nyo yung policy number, assured's name, which is BPI SkyMiles Platinum MasterCard and BPI Visa Signature Card. BPI card holder, so pangalan ko nandito, the card number, and the travel dates. In detail nila nilagay yung coverage. The first one is death and permanent disability for up to 20 million pesos. It covers the card holder for accidental death and permanent disablement whilst traveling as a passenger of any land, air, or water conveyance provided his or her fare for such travel was charged to his or her credit card account. Take note that it excludes illness. So for example, death happens due to illness. Even if during the flight siya nangyari, hindi pa din covered to. In case of accidental death, pwedeng i-claim nung beneficiaries yung insurance proceeds. For every incident, meron lang maximum accumulation limit. And this is based on the type of credit card that you have. So 20M ang maximum accumulation limit per incident for holders with a BPI Rewards Card, BPI Gold Rewards Card, BPI Platinum Rewards Card, and BPI Corporate Card. 
while 40 million naman for BPI signature credit card holders. Next is yung medical expense reimbursement. So according to my coverage, up to 50,000 pesos siya. Reimbursement for actual medical or surgical expenses incurred arising from an accidental injury whilst traveling as a passenger. So take note that dapat ito ay during yung travel nyo. If for example, nagkasakit yung insured and was not able to take the scheduled flight due to illness, hindi ito covered and hindi reimburse yung medical expenses. It only covers accidental injury while the cardholder is a passenger of the airline or carrier. Loss of baggage. 50,000 pesos naman ang cover nito. It covers the insured for loss of baggage or luggage due to fire, robbery, or burglary. Next is baggage delay. It covers the insured for essential clothing allowance for loss of check-in or undelivered luggage in 12 hours from the time of arrival at the designated place and destination. This is covered to up to 20,000 pesos. Take note that etong delay and loss of baggage is only applicable to the checked-in baggage, hindi kasama yung hand carry. Next is cancelled or delayed flight. According to my coverage, it's 20,000 pesos. It covers expenses such as hotel accommodation, restaurant meals, and refreshment incurred by the insured due to either a delay of 12 hours or cancellation of a confirmed scheduled flight or trip. The coverage only applies if yung delay or cancellation is caused by the airline and not the insured. So, hindi pwedeng kunyari na miss mo yung flight or kinancel mo for some personal reason. Next is personal liability for up to 100,000 pesos. It covers liability of the insured or cardholders to third party arising out of negligence resulting to accidental death, bodily injury, or property damage excluding U.S. or Canada and their territories. So this is 100,000 pesos per occurrence. Lastly is the loss of travel documents. It reimburses the insured for the actual cost of replacement of the passport. If for example, nawala yung hand carry ng insured and ang laman niya is yung passport, ticket, or other travel documents, ang reimburse lang is yung actual cost of replacing the passport. Yung mga tickets and other travel documents, hindi kasama yun. Now you know the coverage. Ngayon, kailan nagko-comments and nag expire yung travel insurance nyo. It starts upon the physical check-in or boarding of the insured. And it expires on the physical disembarkation or pag-alis nyo dun sa mode of conveyance. Now, if any incident happens, how do you claim your insurance? All you need to do is to contact BPI on their 24-hour service via call or email. And it needs to be within three weeks na nangyari yung incident. And submit all the requirements to the BPI MS Insurance Corporation Claims Department. Ito yung address. Meron bang participation fee? The insurance coverage doesn't have any participation fee except for yung baggage delay or loss which requires a 500 peso participation fee. And ito ay pwedeng madedak on your account. I hope you guys learned something on this video. Thankfully, hindi ko siya nagamit on my trip. Pero, if any incident occurs, magandang meron pa din tayong travel insurance. To know more about the BPI Visa Signature Card and its perks, check out this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next video.